Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and this time as you can see the video is on Spotify. It is a visualization tool. So just for you guys to know there are going to be a set of videos covering all the major functionality of this tool and a secret for you guys is that this tool is used in a big MNC a lot. Like every MNC have the customers and they use the tools which are used to visualize the data. So some of the example of those tools are Tableau, Power BI and uh, SAP Bio and uh, Spotify. So I'm making this video on Spotify this time. Okay, just because I've worked and I've gained some knowledge on this. So another reason uh, for me making this video is when I exactly working on the Spotify, there were very less tutorial videos of Spotify on YouTube. Even on the Udemy and LinkedIn, O'Reilly, there were very less videos. So I thought uh, I can help people to learn by providing this free content over here. Okay, so let's move on. So, uh, very first question in your mind is what exactly the Spotify is. So, it is a dashboarding and visualization tool that helps you to connect various various types of databases, web services or even with the local files, excels that you have in your system and out of which you can visualize your data. And when I say visualize, you can summary up in a table or I say pivot the the way we can do it in the excel or you can create a chart out of it and uh, that's not at the functionality of the spot fair you can do a lot of various things there are few places where the out of the box features are also helpful in uh, spot fair like javascript visualization etc but that is a later part i'll discuss all those things in the later part of the video okay and then next very good thing with the spot fair is Earlier, if, if you guys know, people used to visualize their data and do the charting etc in Excel itself. But uh, that is not the good practice just because Excel do not provide you any recommendation. Okay, so when we talk about AI driven visualization is, it is uh, like uh, the software itself provide you the recommendation that how the particular data can be visualized. Okay, and then talking about the integration with the TIBCO cloud. So what exactly TIBCO cloud is? TIBCO cloud is a spot fires cloud where you can save your data, DXP, etc. So integrating it with this TIBCO cloud makes the spot fire work very fast. Moving forward, what we have, let's see, we have versions of the spot fire. Okay, so very first version that is noted here is 7.11. It is noted here only. That doesn't mean it is the very first version of the spot fire because it don't make sense if it is starting from 7. <laughs> okay, so I have mentioned only 7.11, 10.3 and 11.2 here just because these are the most used versions of the spot fire. Okay, just because 7.11 was the previous version that has been given the long term support and current version that has been provided with the long term support is 10.3 that has been released on May 2019 and the current version that Spotfire provided or I say latest release of the Spotfire is 11.2 so if you can if you're using you know a trial period software of Spotfire you can download it from the web that I'll tell you in the next video and that would have 11.2 or 11.3 version of the Spotfire depending upon the release if they have released after this video or something okay let's move forward yeah moving forward we have the desktop version uh, look and feel I've provided a picture here so if you can see in the picture this is the previous 7.11 desktop version or I say analyst version so just like any other BI tool Spotfire also have two versions uh, it can have multiple but here uh, what is in our use are only two so we are sh talking about the Spotfire cloud so we have two versions here Tipco Spotfire Analyst and another one will be web in the next week in the next slide you'll see so this is the screenshot of uh, analyst version so you can see you can download this analyst version in your desktop and you know you can start building your own dashboard it's quick and easy okay yeah and let's see this is the 11.3 desktop version yeah so if you'll see from previous there are, there are large update in the new version that's why all of a sudden the requirement for this tool has moved up or you, uh, or you can say a large hike in the requirement of this tool so you know the functionality which it was providing earlier uh, and now are lot different today it have lot more functionality than it ever have okay so there is an 
you know few words about desktop analytics uh, analyst and the tipco spotfire web so how what we do in desktop analyst it is we can develop our dashboard in desktop analyst and then we can publish it in the library and can be accessed with the help of spotfire web so what exactly happens is a developer develop the desktop version of the dashboard and publish into that library okay if a user you know every user cannot install the client version and then access the dashboard so they go to the server or server link and then access the dashboard from there through web and it would work as it is in analyst so uh, i say experience will be seamless okay yeah good thing about analyst version it can work online and offline as well online and offline means uh, you don't need to connect internet you can uh, save your data and your dxps into your local system and you can work there or you can uh, change the things in your dashboard from there only yeah bad thing about it it needs to be installed but every software needs to be installed so nothing bad let's move forward what we have is yeah we can save our dxp into the server or i say libraries of the spot fire and then uh, we have to access those dashboard from those libraries this is basically when you have different kinds of user having different uh, business and they can be accessed or given a different folders there okay there are few examples of the dashboard one and two so as you can see in those two pictures spotfire provide lots of functionality color combination and that's not it you have very uh, very good use of picklist and all so that would be seen in the future videos and i'll really tell you everything about you to the spotfire so guys that's all for this video uh, please don't forget to check in the next video where i have told that how we will install the spotfire and set up it into our systems thank you bye